Hi Amy, this is just a quick tutorial of how we'll go to the next step of creating the or taking those uh, documents or articles and now adding the images into them. So let me just move this down out of the road and then we'll start to walk and talk through that. So the first thing that I've done is that I've got a, a program called Basecamp, which is a project base. You've now got access to this uh, program and you would have got an email with it. What I've done is I've loaded all the 21 keys into here and you'll have a look on the titles you can see in here. It says, you know, the name, the key, the name and then done images. What that means is that I've gone through and I've tweaked the content slightly format of the pages, made sure it's Aussieized or Australianized, and then I've added the images to give you an idea. So as you scroll through those, you'll see they're basically finished. The only two things that need to be now added to those is a is a call to action because at the end of each one of those I'm going to give them action steps or a to do list or something. So if you think of something because you're pretty smart. A smart cookie and, and really know what you're doing and very wise woman and experienced uh, a writer so if you think of an art of something of a call to action because you're writing this and living it all the time so you should be able to come up with some great ideas or come up with some ideas just add them to the bottom of it the other thing that I'm going to do with that is I, I've got to go through now and find programs that we use and then recommend those to people and I'll go through those and and separate and put those in so that'll be our next stage with that the other thing is if you see some of these that have just got Amy done or someone else's name like he has Danilo done what that means is that I've gone through tweaked the content but I haven't actually added any images to it these ones that I got say Danilo's name on them there's images in them but I'm not totally happy with all of the content or all of the images that are in those pages all right so the next thing is with it I'll show you a an example of one that I've whoops that I've done let me just open this up um, and I'll just scroll to the top of it so um, I've you know I now I've removed the key number the key number is there so we've still got that as a reference we still want to keep that as a reference but on this actual page that's not there any anymore the images are set that the text fits around them and they're set up on the right hand side so if they're a small image they're put on the right hand side of the page I'm not sure if you see this, but as you move it over the side, the little light green line comes up to show that it's right on the edge of the page. So that's how I want to set them up. And then, of course, these images match the message that, you know, is there, you know. So it's like linking these, the images to associate, um, you know, with it. So this is saying great opportunity ahead. And there, you know, has so, and we're talking in there. The average business owner has so many opportunities. So link the images so there's an association with the image to to the content, and then also with it uh, with these images is that um, like in the case of this, this is such a great um, article or image that even though it's dated, it's there 2013. And I've made sure that I you know wrote that in there you can use the whole page so take the image and put it as a whole page because there's great information in that that they can uh, read ultimately this goes into a PDF format so these will become quite stable um, to do that one more thing that I think of it please make a note of this the total um, article the total uh, book or ebook cannot be any bigger than five megabytes so that's a pretty tall order when we're adding images so we're going to have to be pretty smart with the images to make sure they're not too big of files so we're going to get the whole book down to under five megabytes uh, otherwise what happens is that Google uh, Amazon will have a, a download fee the, of the um, of the booklet so we're really going to strive to get this under that there if that skill is beyond you I might have to get my web developer to come in and give us a hand but put them all in for a start or if you know how to make them the images you know quite compact and not heavy do that as well okay 
The next step that we've got is where to get the, uh, the, the source of the images from. And there's several ways that you can do it. I've included into Basecamp, I'll just scroll down the page. You're going to have two things in there. Uh, this is a PDF of the slideshow that I've created in the past and there's lots of images in that I'll show you in a second and then this also has the ISME digital marketing st uh, strategy company template so let me just show you those two uh, documents so here is this is the um, the 101 training PDF so you can see there's all the way through that there's different images that are relevant to that you know that content that was there so you can take images out of there um, you know here's a great one with building your online presence so that's a whole image that can be taken out of that if this is an issue and you need in a PDF and you need the PowerPoint presentation just let me know and I will uh, you know copy it in there I'd prefer not to but uh, you know maybe on this this one in here it's such a good graphic that you could actually just use the whole page of that and you know because it says it all and you know fill up the whole a whole part of the book just on, on this section as well the other thing is with it let me have a look is that the digital marketing uh, this is the digital marketing template that I use for clients this has got some great um, stuff in it and you'll be able to t scroll down this and and have a look at it appreciate all this is IP, uh, intellectual property of mine, and also um, copyrighted. But there's the, what I like about this is a page like this where I think whether we format the page and flip, flip the page from a um, portrait to landscape to make this fit, but this, this here really has a great explanation you know, on the whole page of of what a website lo should look like and it'd be great if we could fit those in as you go through there'll be some other other things there to do and you'll get some ideas off this page that you can take as well uh, ideas out of that so there's two ways that you can do it the other way that you can also do it let me open this up on our website there is a page called get your 24 keys so it's sitting there but I'm actually on the page the 24 keys are sitting in there you can scroll down and you can see them there so there's a little bit of uh, content there but when you actually go through and open up any one of these and I can just you know let me just open this one up is that um, wait for this to load is that's got the video there you don't need to worry so much about that um, let me just get this page and scroll it come on scroll yeah there you go look there's the image there so you've got an image there that you can use already and these are being formatted for the net so they shouldn't be too heavy on it there's a whole bunch of those I've got a bias I would like to be able to use stuff out of internet secrets made easy pages or our content because it keeps pointing the people back to that that the whole purpose of this book is to build brand and trust and authority in the industry. I'm not I'm not doing it to try and make money. I'm doing it out as a giveaway or as a cheap book that people can buy as a template, you know, for how they build their business. For me, the income comes out of sitting down with them and developing their strategies uh, that they've got. Okay, the other way, so if you can't find or you're not satisfied with the images, because the images to me are quite important, the other thing that you can do is go into, and, uh, into Google and just type in, um, you know, into Google Images different things. And I'm sure that you've done this before, but let's see, let's look at... Um, um, let's just call it reading a newsletter whoops sorry about the caps on a computer on a computer so once you go into that you can see there's a whole bunch of videos that open up now the interesting thing is with it under I think it's under more let's have a look now under search tools 
there's a thing here called usage rights. And under the usage rights, there's one that says not filtered by license. And this is ticked by, um, uh, um, a bot, you know, ticked by default. You can also choose this where it says label for use with modification. So um, use that or use that first one that I, you know, that I had there. Ideally this one um, or whoops um, or where I was it? Sorry here not filtered by license. So either way, use that. Um, they're going into a PDF um, and so really we're pushing the boundaries a little bit on copyright but but it should be okay with a lot of these unless it's, you know, just you recognize it as some site that is, the, um, you know, is really blatant, you know, copyright or whatever but it should be okay on that but that's last resort to do those. I mean, you know, there's just great great images everywhere to do that if you've got another idea just shoot it off to me but I think between all of those we should be able to you know make some um, great images so just recap on that that's where you can find the images from um, um, where are we on our let me just push the, pull this out again there in there and also that's right on recap if you've got some great ideas about call to actions or suggestions at the back, back of the book or you know at the end of each chapter I'm really open to that idea because you know we want them to be pointing them back to our other to our website we want to be suggesting action steps that they take we want to be suggesting you know would you like a free order on your website there's a whole bunch of stuff that we need to uh, you know work on improve and, and while you're doing those I'm going to have a look at some of those ideas as well so I trust that helps if you've got any questions with that just ping me on Skype and we can talk through it but I think that should be able to help you